everyone, I am SimSweetie and welcome to part one of Let's Play God Home. My laptop's still open over here. What am I doing? I'm a mess. Anyway, um, just forgot what I was saying. Oh yes, we're gonna play God Home because I've heard good things about it and you know, maybe it's kind of similar to Life is Strange. So I believe it's a shorter game and I don't know how long this part's gonna be. It's about three o'clock right now, so we'll just, we'll see. I don't really know what it's about. You can get this game on Steam. Never played it before, never seen a Let's Play, don't really know anything about it. Okay, we're using W-A-S-D. Look around using the mouse. Okay, got it. So we're loading. I, I appreciate that it's a cassette tape. <laughs> Alrighty. My, my nerd, my inner nerd's coming out. I, like, if you look on the Steam reviews, there are a lot of bad things said about this game too, but then a lot of really good things and... I don't know, I feel like this is just a game that I might really like. Or maybe not, but we'll find out. It's taking a while to load, but this is my first time loading it up, so... Could be why. There we go, we're all good. <laughs> Let's see this game. Beginning credits. Hi mom! Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. She's arriving home at midnight. Boop, boop. Gone home. It's June 7th, 1995, 11.15 a.m. It's very early in the morning. Oh, here we go, we can move. So, this is how you move. I'm like getting used to these controls, so give me a second here. How's this work exactly? Okay, so we can open the doors. Anything else we can do out here? I don't want to miss anything. I try to be very, very thorough. Oh, it's locked. Well, that's a problem. Open this door. No, it's also locked. Yeah, okay, that's not good. Can I read this? Um, hold right, shift, hold right, <laughs> which is my right. I don't know my right from my left. Okay, here we go. Hi, Katie. I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone. And mom and dad is crossed out. Anyone. You could see that, though. I just thought I'd explain <laughs> to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Um, alright. Well, can we get in the house or... Not that door. Okay, so this must be us, I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're Caitlin Greenbrier. Probably. Oh, here we go. We have some other stuff. Open this door. Grab the Christmas duck. What am I supposed to do with the Christmas duck? Did it say Christmas duck? That didn't do much. <laughs> uh, anything else? Is it, is it even close to Christmas? It's June. I was gonna say, is it close to Christmas? Yeah, no. We'll close these doors because I just. Wait, was that a key? Yeah, I found the key. I mean, I found the Christmas duck first, but. Good old Christmas duck. I love it. Can I put this in my backpack, please? Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Oh, you can just throw it on the ground. I'm a big fan of that Christmas duck. Ooh, I have to sneeze. Do we look at everything here? Maybe. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's go. We are inside. Ooh, ambient music. Just clicking around. I'm already really enjoying this. Let's open the drawer. What's in here? Can I see what's in here? No? Is it just my screen settings? Because I have a really bright light on so I can do face cam and it makes it hard to see. I can turn a lamp on. There we go! Clues, Macy, clues. I want to take a closer look. Wait, can I go like... Yes, I can. Um, looks like there's some directions over here. I want to read that note. Oh, what does it say? <laughs> I'm not going to be reading this handwriting. Directions? Yeah, I think it says directions. To work from new house, I believe. And then there's some directions. Travel time. One hour, ten minutes. She was going somewhere. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
the first door now? Okay, let's check down here. What is over here? Anything that I need? Some mountain march? I don't know, just looking for anything. Okay, I don't see anything down here. I guess we'll go ahead and close it. Oh, there's another drawer. Anything in here? Some more notes and whatnot. That I can't really read from here. Why do they just have this large cap- Whoa. Slung the camera. Uh, I can grab a tissue box. So I do that? Uh, press right mouse or left shift to examine a held object. Right mouse. Tissues. Look at that. What does it say on it? I want to read it. It's a soft face. Show you guys. I'll want to know that. Okay, we'll put it back because I do think we need it. Should I double check that there's nothing we need in here? Okay, yeah, I don't think so. I just don't want to miss anything super obvious. Over here. Here, we can open this folder now. Read the invoice. Let's see here. Uh, Wellspring mover. Someone was moving. They're moving to Oregon, I believe, <laughs> from Oregon. Okay, to move far. The area codes are kind of similar, so obviously not super far away. And the date for that is August 1st, 94. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. Speaking. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. I don't know, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> so I'm assuming Katie or Caitlin is the older sister, I believe. bathroom is very upset with us. Let's examine this magazine. It's a typewriter. That's cool. That's some cool stuff. Very hipster. Very indie. Should I close the door? Maybe that's not a good choice. Turn the faucet on. Turn the faucet off. Look at these controls. Grab some hand soap. Let's examine it. Sparkle hand soap. Okay, put it back. Anything else in here? There's some toilet paper? Can I- nope, don't think I can interact with that. Oh yes, cabinets. Let's go ahead and open this sliding door. We got some towels. <sighs> we got some more towels. We got some cleansing powder. Anything interesting? Oh, okay, we'll put it back. Grab this box. Uh, Band-aids. Don't think we need that either. There's a toilet paper roll. Look at that, look at that. Don't think we need it. We're gonna leave. I'm just like gonna leave this house a mess. I think this is our- Oh, I can turn on the lights. Let's just let's turn them on. Make it a little less. Frightening in here. Okay. Ooh, I'm not very good at these controls. Grab the phone. Can I call someone on this phone? It sounds like there's no service. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put that back. <laughs> Play messages. Here we go. This will probably maybe help us. Sam. Sam! Hello? Sam! Did we leave this message? Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Interesting. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But this don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. So I think like, all really of these seriously, you don't have to. Were to her. Okay, so and Sam love must you. Be the See you person soon. Who Bye. Her younger sister. Is there anything else? Sounds like that. That's all. Well, it didn't give us much clues. Okay. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come. Why can't I read? He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. 
Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Okay, well, it seems like no one's been in this house for a while. Because I think Sam must have been missing for a little while. I, I don't I don't know. Let's read this itinerary. Worldwide timetable. Effective June 1st, 1994. Oh. Katie's departure. This is our departure, right? No. It's Katie's departure. This is when we left. This is like today, right? So flight to Amsterdam. Is this Sam? So she planning the flight in? Okay. Can we go through this door? I don't think we've been in here yet. This is a closet. Pull the string. Um, front hall. Not a lot in here. We do have. This must be our mother, I'm assuming, Janice. And we have. Is that about pulling the string? Yeah, we already did that. Good fellow high school. Grab board game. Is this gonna help us at fairly middle? No, maybe not. Okay, we'll go ahead. No, well, didn't go so well. We'll put that right there, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get out of there. Close that door. And uh, let's come over here. Grab a skull. Pick up one of my trophies. What are these trophies about? I wanna know what these are about. Regional track and field finals, April 21st, 1990. Girls 100 meter relay. Which one of us? Okay, so this is our trophy because we're Caitlyn. We also have is this ours too. Yes. Okay, so she did track. Really learning some things about. Can we look at any like detailed things about this book? These books. This books. Grammar is 10 out of 10. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Ah, I forgot how to walk. There we go. It doesn't look like there's anything in these cabinets. Oh, is there a book I could grab? Grab book? Oh, it's the Bible. Praise Jesus. Okay, we're gonna put it- Hey, that actually went right back in its spot. Oh, where's the light? Here we go. Go ahead and turn that lamp on. Open this door. Uh, telephone book. Phone book. Telephone book. Okay, let's read this letter. A <sighs> lot of reading. What does it say? Is that an S? I think. Does that say Sam? I can't read. Oh, Jan, I think it says, right? Because her name was Janice, so this must be to the mother. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared <laughs> freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said that you wanted a house in the m house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody likes somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. <laughs> I'll play them, seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Ruby. Carol. So that must have been her mother's roommate. That's cool. Got a notification because I'm just so popular. There's a vent. Let's go ahead. Oh. Oh, that didn't sound too good. Is there a key in here that I didn't see earlier? No. Any other drawers? Any other drawers? Oh, there's this. Why can't I see in here? Let me in here. All the way. Ah, fine. Close the door. What about over here? Can I get to this one? It's hard to get to this. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't know. If there is, I'm gonna close it anyway. Oh, nope. We'll just leave it open. Hiccup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Attractive. I know. Oh, what's this? Read the card. Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam. Okay, so Sam 
I'm guessing is somewhere around 17. Gosh darn it, those sounds. Is there anything in here I missed? I feel like I didn't get a good look. I got a good look at this, right? I keep forgetting I can do this zoom in thing. I just want to make sure we've kind of like checked out everything. Here's a little family picture. We didn't- I just tried to run like how you do in Life is Strange. Oh gosh, I have problems. So... Yes. The- this is one must be us. This must be Katie right here. And I'm assuming this over- this. Her, she, yep, over here is Sam. And mother and father. Did I look at everything? Yeah, there was nothing in here, right? So we already looked at that. Is there anything else I need to zoom in on? No, nothing else. Okay. Oh, I grabbed a pencil. Let's put that back. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can go up these stairs now. And we got stuff over here. Press 2 or M to check your location in the house. Okay, let's check out 2. This looks like we're in the foyer. I'm assuming. Okay, let's turn this lamp on. Whoa, whoa. Welcome. We'll read this newspaper clipping. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. It looks like Janice is the senior con con conservationist. <laughs> and it'll take place between 8 and 5 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday. Was actually, this was from, I guess it was last year, October, huh? Okay, okay. Let's see, what's this? And pack of cards, don't think we need. Anything up here that I can make out? No, nope, don't think so. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. What is with all of these empty cabinets? Is there anything up here I should look at? No. Need some lights. Why can't I not turn on these lights? I don't know, man. What's over here? There's a comb, a personal calendar. Ooh, this is not easy to read. Who is this? I feel- I think this is Jan's or Janice's writing. What is this? The week of like, September 994? It's 95, isn't it? Did I read that right? I don't even know. I want the door the rest of the way. Come on, force it. Grab the comb and like shove it in there or something. Oh, I open doors here. Let's go ahead and open this cabinet. Where's the lights? Cause, oh, here we go. <laughs> Figured it out. No need to worry. Are these both empty? The cigarette case. We need that. Brat mobile. Right, that's what it says. So, I can't even read this. Potty mouth. Potty mouth. See? I can't even read that. Oh, good. For Sam. Ooh, look at that. It, it moves. Oh wait, what does it say on the other side? I want to read that side. Here we go. Oh, these are the songs on it. That's cool. So I'm thinking we... It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour. And took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape. And oh. said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. I really like Sam's voice actor or actress. She's really great. Okay. Whose room is this? Is this Sam's room? I feel like this would be Sam's room. Where's the light, though? Hold on. Gotta figure this out. Okay, what kind of clues do we have in here? A three-ring binder. I don't know. Why do I pick up these things and then just throw them on the ground? Okay, we have a cassette. This is Bratmobile Cool Schmuel. Whose cassette is that? Is that... Oh, wait. Can I put this into here? Yes, I figured it out. I'm so intelligent. We're so cool. Yeah, yeah. You too, close mom. <laughs> 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 it's probably ejected. It's great. Just 
believe me, it's oh, threw it on the ground. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. What about what's under this pillow? Check that over there. A note. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and I left it in your locker on the way to the second. If or what? It hmm, it's what all the cool kids are doing. I who? Liar? I've. Don't say I've. I've. That says I've decided. <laughs> Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a, a good idea. What what all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. And there's a drawing of a cat on a motorcycle with a sun. UFO and some cacti. I think this is pretty phenomenal. Actually, it's two cats on a motorcycle. Yes, okay. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like no... No, he, I feel like he would. <laughs> Probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and he also he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. I don't. If she's 17, and then I guess she could be like a senior, I suppose. Perhaps. Uh, read the clipping. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Mrs. Blacklock? Yeah? So this is the summer of 1995. Students 10 to 11. Okay. So, um, I don't know if she's not 17 and I read that card wrong, but <laughs> I'm thinking she's maybe in like 10th grade, 10th or 11th grade. Sure, it doesn't say exactly what it is. Have this glass, another binder. Can we like look in the binder? Okay, I suppose not. Is there another light? Here we go. Look in this drawer. Groove. Interesting. Looks like a very aesthetic magazine. I can appreciate that. Don't know what else. Oh, it looks like a chapstick of some sort. Oh, it's a lip balm, yeah. Says. Lip stuff. Cherry stone. Okay, we'll go ahead to check that. And that didn't mean clipping that again. <clears throat> My voice is disgusting. There's an eraser, some pencils, a mug, another magazine. She must like this magazine. I suppose. It's a, it's a dinosaur. No, turtle. No, dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur turtle. We'll put that back. She has a really cute room, actually. I love it. <coughs> My voice is getting tired. Oh, crumpled note. Oh, she got a disciplinary referral. When did this happen? Again, last, is it 94? It might actually be. No, because it's June 95, right? So she's in 12th grade. And this is for... Who is this? Student Yolanda. Oh, is this Lonnie? Because it went to Yolanda. <sighs> Mr. Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled pa 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 Blue Ribbon. Miss DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. She was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Miss DeSoto chose suspension. Her father, her, her father, her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Miss DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Yeah. Okay. So this is Lonnie, and no parent signature. And why exactly did? Sam have it? I do not know. I do not. Is there anything up here I can take a look at? A lot of cups. This book it says Emma on it. True, true. And a hairbrush. 
anything else in here that could possibly help us at all. I want to know her combination, but like, how would I- oh, there's something under the bed. Get me- I want to get me under the bed. Get me under that bed. If I move this out of the way. Just check that thing over there. I want that- no! What does that not say? Uh, oh, picked up the pillow. <laughs> Put it back. I think there's just like a fork by her bed or whatever. I guess I can't get to that or something. What is your combination? Open up. Please and thank you. Oh, there's this area. This is called a closet. Thought I'd inform you there. Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. Oh, he's a champ. He's a, he's a, he's a Frank sort of thing, Bob. A plaque. Samantha, S is for special, A is for adorable, M is for merry, A is for affectionate, N is for nice, T is for thoughtful, H is for honest, A is for admirable. How cute. What's in here? Why is- why do these people just have so many cabinets and there's like one thing in everything? Oh, do I gotta read this whole thing? <coughs> Let me take a swig of water. Huh, okay. The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Fraying Threads. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, had ascended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate on their own now grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line into the stone onto the stone floor. She has swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, nigh, nigh, unbreakable, thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, trailed behind, there's a comma there, leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice, the hairs on Captain Allegra's arms stood up on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked onto the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The, the great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. The, the blue orb topping his <laughs> okay, okay. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long stair st staircase hewn, maybe, from rock led down into the chamber from a passage at the top. Allegra said, we have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention and then you, but the first mate interrupted. No, I am smaller and quicker and you know uh, of dealing with the mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the uh, silk line. All traced by this invincible thread, of course, Allegra said. It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tried, tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and wink and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across at the top of the stairs where the first mate All right, was to appear. The king continued his, wait, no, no. The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop her, th 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 stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, gliding 
behind her with distressing speed. For, from some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running toward the sound. The line fell in Allegra's the, the line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering a line, twisting it around her arm until she came to the end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply. Its, ta its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran, ran. That was so good. I want to know the rest of it. What time is it, by the way? How long have I been recording? Okay. I've been like 30 minutes. I think I want this to be like close to an hour. Anyway, we have a board game here. We have we've got your number. Did you call it Who's got a crush on you? Look at that. We're gonna throw that back. Okay, anything? I'm like actually exhausted from reading so much. That was. Oh, that was a mouthful. Okay, what's over here? We have some, I guess, stair. Interesting. Oh, is uh, what are these? <laughs> Just some vocal patterns. Cool stuff, man. Scrutinize. Okay, what's over here? I want to see. Oh, we have little mini game cartridges. Oh, look at that. Can we put one of these in? Can I? No, because I don't see an actual video game console. Because uh, there's just some cards, so we'll go ahead and throw that back in there. We'll throw this one. Turn you have crystal. We'll go ahead and put that back. Another. Oh, codes. Oh, oh, this is Chun Li moves. I was like, I hope this is for her locker, but it's not. We have this stuff. I don't think we're going to be playing much video games, but. Just in case, you never know. Turn that TV off because it's starting to get all my nerves. And a cup. So many cups. Okay, uh, did we go through this door? Is this where we came from? I don't, I don't even know. This house is so confusing. Wait, we can look at where we are, huh? Yeah, that was Sam's room, huh? Obviously. So this is the way we go downstairs. Let's try a different room now. Let's go. This is a bathroom. I don't know if there's going to be too many things in here. But you never know. Um, I don't think we need any of Where's the sink? Oh, here's the sink. I'm like, why is there no sink on this cup? Turn the faucet on and off. Is it here? Actually, that's a cabinet. That's not. What does it say? This says Lonnie rules. Uh, I take it someone has some feelings towards Lonnie, eh? Eh? What's in here? Cables! What's in here? Oh, it's broken. Can I just like, check it on the ground? I don't know what's in there. Why? Okay, I'm not pressing the right key. That's why I'm having issues. Flush toilet! It flushes. Thought I'd check. Bottle. Wild color. Red right hand. Look at that. It is hair dye. My, I dyed my hair blue in the front See, Look at that. <laughs> it looks like there's either a murder scene in here. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Turn the faucet off. Turn the faucet off. Okay. Why is there no mirrors in this bathroom? I want to know what we look like. Just saying. Note. Oh, more reading. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us. Crush mark, crush mark, crush mark. Tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on, ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? 
According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman, cue Fall Out Boy right here, gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. Sounds like a typical Friday night. So <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Ha ha ha. Alright, see you there. And then it's a cheeseburger barfing. I've never seen Pulp Fiction. I don't understand those references. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um, so now I'd say do we have... Okay, it didn't say what... But we went to that room. Let's see, what's the next door? Let's go this way. Anything in here? Oh, there's this. I need to look at this because I got distracted. Okay, let's go read this. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Groom Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across the ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own. What? Am I reading this way? I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. She's a little rubble. And I guess, yes, she is 17 and we are three years older than her. So we're about 20. What else? Sam. Stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. <laughs> yeah, we've left every light on too. I am bad about turning off lights in real life as well. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. I don't know. I pick up the gun. Let's go this way. We've been in here. Is this our room? Can someone confirm or deny that? Oh no, this is our parents' bedroom. Where is the light? I need to turn on the light. Okay. Put on that too. Cool. Grab the phone. Also does not work. Thought maybe. Just maybe. It's on this postcard. Uh, did we send this? Yes, we did. Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam, I am in the... Chanel? This is my second passage through the... Chanel? I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the... Chanel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. Sorry about that. My uh, game decided to close for a second. Anyway, uh, uh, you'd love it if you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime. I guess I could be convinced. Love you all. Katie. Put that back. Put that back. Okay, what's in this drawer? Clothes, clothes, clothes. More clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes, more clothes. More clothes. So I'm guessing they moved into this house somewhat recently. Looks like last year, based off of this letter. Because it's just a lot of clothes. Why are their parents' room, or yeah, her parents' room, such a mess? Press C or Control to crouch. Oh, I can crouch. Look. Leaves of grass. Walt Whitman. What's up? Paper towns. That's what Walt Whitman reminds me. Oh, we can like crawl on the ground. Okay, let's stand up. That means we can probably go back into Sam's room and get that thing I saw under the bed. Awesome. What's in the hamper? Okay, well, we don't want to see that. Um, we can turn on this lamp too. Oh, looks like there's another family picture. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, no. I'm starting to look at it. Oh uh, dear. Can I put it back? Thank you. Thank you. So that's obviously an older family picture. Cat. Anything. Nothing in the trash. The bigger closet. The light's already on in here. Is there anything we can look at? A book. Um, watercolor techniques. That's cool. I love watercolors actually. I have my watercolor set right next to me. Yes. Okay. This is cool. So I'd say someone in their family is interested in watercolors. Oh look, a ghost game. What's that supposed to mean? Why oh look, a ghost game? Can we play it? I want to play it. No? Not today? Well, let's go then. Guess we got to go.
I already picked up this book. Why did I pick it up again? What's up here? It's like a master bathroom with some sinks. We got a comb. Can I look in these cabinets? And no, this cabinet I can look in. We have like standards. This seems like a pretty normal bathroom. This door. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest master suite ever. What's uh? After the honey. Okay, well. Oh, we're gonna put that back. I understand why it says uh now. I understand now. We could grab a candle. Because, you know, that's, that's exactly what I need to do. Okay. I'd say we've looked at pretty much everything here. So I want. Oh, actually, this cabinet. Or, on um, wall. Turn the TV on. Doesn't work. Okay. What's. Are these tapes? like some movies down. Okay, every time that thunder goes off, just frightens me a little bit. Just a little. I'm just gonna say it frightens me slightly. Is there anything we need to crouch to see on this side? No, just close. Another phone book. <laughs> oh, we have a purse. Anything in here we can look at? No? Okay, well. Let's go back into here. And I want to crouch. Can I? Yes, I can read it. Okay, cool. So, uh, name Samantha Greenbrier. She's in year 11, it looks like. Um, her grade is a C minus. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family. A portrait, reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges show more pride in work. So, she's doing engraving. I, I don't know. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, is that some sort of clue? Should we try to get into this locker? What if it's just like one on one point seven? Something really easy. That's too many. But it's not. This is a really cool poster. I like that a lot. Okay, I just did a three sixty there. Any clues here? It's like nineteen ninety four or something. I was looking at these magazines trying to see. Should I try like 1994, 1995? 1994? Dang it, 1995. Can we figure out what year she was born in? Well, she's 17 right now, it's 1995. I might be totally off. Whatever, let's try like 1988. Oops. Dang it, I thought I might have had it there. <laughs> Unless that was from like last year. I don't even know. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm just gonna try again later. It's probably like so obvious and everyone is just screaming at me right now, but um, it's a problem. Okay. Another room we haven't been in. I'm like so turned around in this house right now. I don't even know. Where's our room? We live here, don't we? Oh, something's over here. Were we sacrificing? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. What? Okay, should we go? I think there's one more room we have to go in, but dark room? You know what that makes me think of? Did we go in here? I thought we skipped a room. Did we go in here? Oh, this is like, is this our room? Is this Katie's room? I'm thinking this might be Katie's room. Go ahead, what's this? Read note. Hey Sam, you were asking about my... Jerotic? What? Ribbon, what my ribbons meant, whatever. This is a handy guide. We have Oren, or Orientoring? This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure trading, I am a burn adventure, I'm a burn? Born, I'm a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Lonnie, oh Lonnie. Why is it in this room? Cause I'm pretty sure this was, wait, can I confirm this? It was the guest room. 
So Lani is either in the army or wanting to go to the army. And this is Sam's book. Do I have to read it? Time of Thunder. Sightings Journal, August 31st, 1994, 1 19 a.m. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd, 1994, 1244 a.m. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace I got. A notification. Anyway, September 9th, 1994, 11 p.m. Poured milk from a carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just by yesterday. Ghost milk. <laughs> August 9th, 1994. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We built a protective pillow fort. Cute. August 2nd, 1994. Lonnie and I are enjoy... Or what? Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. As soon as I said that. I need water. I'm like... Ahem. <coughs> Dying. No, don't mind me. October 28th, 1994. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the probably leaky, probably due to the leaky, whatever. <laughs> Sample taken just in case, despite... Our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Oh, now there's paranormal mess in this game. Anything in here? No? Okay. Anything anywhere else? No? No? Did I look at this? Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore, Sam. Sam! Okay, so she knows about us coming home. Where are you? Okay, open the attic. Okay, it's locked. Punch a hole. Where's the thing, please? Where's my gun so I can shoot a hole? No, not an option. Okay, well. Uh, let's go into here. This is the sitting room. I see, I see. There's it looks like maybe someone did art in here. This heavens to Betsy. Nothing can stop me. Put that back. A bowl. Yeah, obviously this is some sort of art room. And there's a forum performance evaluation for Janice. She's obviously doing great. Right? Nope, this is an evaluation for someone else. This is an evaluation for Richard. Yeah. I don't know who that is, but he's great, apparently. Coaster. Tissue box. What is this? A uh, cassette player. Oh, we could probably put the cassette in there if I wanted to. Should we try that? Might as well, for a second. See, look at that. Music. I can warp things. I thought it was a calculator. Okay. <coughs> that could be distracting to this video. I would like to play the game and listen to the music, but... No, I don't want that to be distracting. So how do we get up here? <sighs> okay, um, let's go back to her- Did we go everywhere upstairs? I don't even know. Let's make sure. Obviously, we went in here. This was her room. We read this now. Yes, we did. Can I look in her backpack? No. And we look in the bathroom. Let's see. And this is where we first came upstairs. And there's also that locked room downstairs. Where are all the keys? I'd like to know. I guess we should go back to Katie's room. Or not Katie's, Sand's room. See if I can figure anything else out, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I'll probably be ending this part here soon because I'm getting exhausted from talking. 
Dr. Jitters. Interesting. Uh, that was an odd sound I made. Okay. Yep, this is not helping me much. Let's go. I didn't look under the bed in the guest room. Maybe there's something there. I don't know, man. Oh, I keep trying to do the shift control like I'm playing like Minecraft or Life is Strange or something. Now I don't know where we are. Okay, let's walk this way. Where am I trying to go? Is there... I think we already kind of... We pretty much looked at the parents' room. Here's where I wanted to go. Anything? No. Alright, wait. Oh, no, that was just the quarter of the letter. I thought I saw something different. And it was not about anything. Not at all. How do I get into this? Okay. Okay. Wait, can- how did I look at the backpack? I need to- What is it? Check items, one or I? Okay. Zoom. Yes, I have this key. Can- this one key work on everything? Can I use this key? We have a boarding pass. And our passport. True. I'm like- I just- oh wait, no, her birthday- I want to try her birthday for the, uh, locker. Being like, what, her birthday would be like 75, not 85. What am I thinking? I can't do math. Or 78? Dang it, and I think our birthday is 1973. I don't know why it would be that. What is your combination? <sighs> Tell me, game. What else do we have in here? Passport? Anything else that'll help us? <sighs> so that's a thing. I, I thought I had it figured out there, but I did it. Ah, should we go back downstairs and then maybe I'll wrap up this part? I'm getting very determined. Very determined. I don't know where she- The key is probably in the locker, but I don't know. The combination- Oh, okay. The combination for the locker. So, it's a little bit of a problem, and I can't even find the stairs. <laughs> I think it's over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything- We already read that. Well, I see- I keep doing that. I need to stop. Put your pinky away, Macy. I already looked in here. I looked in here, right? I didn't see like a key. Oh, nope. I didn't see a key like over here. Can I open the book? What if it's like hidden in the book? I'm just gonna leave all these open and just wreak havoc. Because why not? Anything else behind here? Any other keys? I, why am I turning my head like this as if I'm gonna be able to see more things? It's like. Uh, do I understand what a video game is? No. Not at all. Give me the code. Wait, could it be L O N N I? Okay, Lonnie has a lot more than four. <laughs> like, letters, because maybe it could have been like the letter number thing. It's in here. Oh, I don't think we've been in here. What? I had a sudden itch on the back of my head. Had to scratch at it. I just thought we were gonna. And another postcard you send. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit de Dejeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all. Katie. Oh, it looks like this must have been right around the time that they moved because it says weird. Anything else doesn't look like it. And keys in here. Whoops, can't lock using those keys. No, open this door. Yes, okay. There's an obituary. Oh, this is the uncle that died. 
Right, yeah. Did we in no, I don't think we would have did we inherit? We may, I think we might have inherited the house from him. What else? I'm trying to grab the photo. What is this? Is this They said this must be Lonnie? I don't know why her picture's in the camp down here. Anything on this back of cards? Probably not, but uh thought I'd look no okay, nothing. Yeah, let's close that door. And let's see here. Nothing down there. And these drawers for some reason that I don't know. Let's open this door. It's a little closet right in here. And there's a note. Welcome, new student. We hope you're excited. Your first day. Good for us because you did it. One's dirty. What is all this stuff about? Okay, this is just about her starting her new. Oh. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. Is this the part when we find out she has rewind powers? Just kidding. JK. Okay, what's this? This is Dad's office. Oh, I really should be wrapping up this part, but I don't want to end it, so we're just going to keep playing. Yeah. Uh, killing of JFK. A theory. Examine this paper. Um, laser disc, compact disc player. what this is? I don't know. Is there another light? Here we go. You can do better. What if JFK wasn't JFK? <laughs> Looks like he was a little bit obsessed with the assassination of JFK. I don't know. Oh, I don't know the- is it 777? Gosh darn it, I don't know the- gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, should I try one of their birth dates? Like 1993? Or not 1993, 1993. Did I say that? I don't even know. Dang it, I don't know. Not 1993, oh my gosh, 1973. I'm losing my mind. Still not it. What was the other one? Maybe five? Okay, well, it's time to give up now. It's my philosophy. Try like three times and then give up. Uh, an inspection form for our house. It's technically safe. Multiple layers of wiring to added. Lights blink. And it seems to be safe. Question mark? Uh, okay, that makes me feel real great. Real great about being in this house. Nothing in that cabinet, what a surprise. Nothing in that cabinet, what a surprise. Switch fan. It turns on. Magic, okay. Anything over here? Doesn't seem like it, okay. And there's a chair. Oh, can I open this door though? Oh, just the top one's locked. Okay. Wait, I, yeah, nothing of use. Okay, we'll close that. Whoa, swung the camera. Let's go ahead. Whoa, it's dark in here. There's the light. Any books that we could possibly need or want, I don't know. Oh, this is like a full-on library. This is intense. This is very intense. Is this a book that we could possibly need? Grab book. A Stranger Under My Roof. The number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. folder. Dear Tara, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've submitted for the last few months. Frankly, you're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. Not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and not non-sequiturs 
from the unusable copy weather without heavy rewrites. <laughs> rewrites? Rewrites. The readers of home theater, Afric African theater, oh, sure, want to hear about the quality and value of hardware, not reminiscences from your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who could take half your who could take half your right to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. <clears throat> so it looks like their father is a writer too. Much like Sam. Fresh magazine. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. And 90210. True, very 90s. The 90s. Some chairs. This would be like such a cool place to come and like read in. What is this? Secret box? Did this say secret box? Throw that away. I want to say what's in here. Accidental pariah? What a surprise. JFK books. Oh, are these his books? Did he write this book? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna put that back there. Maybe. Anything? Else in there? Anything? Can I throw it? Oh man, I was hoping there was something important under there. Nope, just a. Just a. Just a. Just a. Just a oh, what am I doing? Am I, am I zoomed in? No. Am I crouching? Oh, here we go. I figured it out. No. Okay, the rain just really freaked me out there. <laughs> it was like. Was that footsteps? Cause I hope not. Anyway, let's go out this door. And let's go. Oh, this is terrifying. The phone is. Or is this a TV? Severe weather warning. This is a TV that's maybe kind of working. Can we change the channel? This is a severe weather warning. Okay, so, well, well where's the light? Okay, it's dark in here. Good. Did I figure it out? Pull that down. Oh, that was a fan. Oh, well, we'll put the fan on, too. Where is... There it is. We have... Another cassette right here. Girl Scout. Role model. Nothing in the trash can. There's a cassette player. I think a lot of cassette players in this house. That... It's the book Dad wrote. He wrote this book. The Accidental Savior. Uh, I would say he maybe liked JFK a little bit. Terry, hey man! Did my phone just buzz? Ooh, I gotta wrap up this part. Zoom! Okay! Hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelance. Oh, so this must be how he got his job. I got too lazy to read the second half of that, but I'm sure it was great. Got a bunch of tapes, a bunch more tapes, <laughs> and some what looks like to be vinyls, maybe? Um, this book, Sam, I thought this might help, it's called Making Friends. <laughs> ah, that, that's... You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of Why? punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. Why? She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, what is this? Oh, uh, we need this. And this looks like they were directing it to the new house. A thing. Oh, something we had to review. I see, I see. So, did we look in here? Yeah, we did. What's in the pizza box? Oh, well, no pizza. I'm disappointed. 
What a letdown. Got a mug. This drawer, nothing in here. TV listing. X Files with circles. I see. Someone like the X Files. What was this? Coaster? Yep, okay. It's mom's old work mug. Is which used to work? A place that it's too dark to read. Look at that. It's a mug. What else? Looks like a newspaper that is unimportant, apparently. And did I look everywhere in here? I don't I don't even know. Because yeah, this is just telling me about the weather thing. Oh, there's this too. Crouch down here. Let's see what's down here. There's a button. It says Bratmobile, which I think must be a band that Sam might. I don't know if they're a real band or not, and I'm just not educated on them, but... And another closet. Why do we have 40 million closets in this house also? What is this? Oh, another story. Oh, this is about Captain Allegra again. Oh, this must have been, like, something she wrote as a child. Oh yeah, second grade, and she must still be writing it, I'm thinking? Ah, this must be chapter one, huh? You read chapter two. I'm too lazy to read this, so just... No, it's probably great. Just know it's probably great. Okay. Matchbook? Matchbox? Ma matchbook? Yeah, sure. Throw that on the ground. My nose tickles. Oh, it sneezed. Don't do that now. What's this? Hey, wait, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the. Yeah, that's what I couldn't read it. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. And so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. And then yes or no. And she said, no, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Was, uh, what? Was it just, was it just your uncle who went psycho? Does it run in the family? Oh, that was mean. Well, kind of uns insensitive. Not insensitive. I know words. Were we in here? That's closet. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have your backpack? I want to know what the pin says. It says, heavens to Betsy. Oh, we threw it on the ground. Okay, let's get out of here now. And we looked in here and here. What is this? A pamphlet. Got some agriculture. And some coupons. Get them steals. Gotta get them steals and deals. Probably nothing in here. Probably. And oh my gosh, I feel like every door we go into, there's just like so many rooms. <sighs> I don't even want to stop playing this game now. What is this? More coupons? Gotta get them deals. Oh, we can turn this on. Uh, highlighters. Some random things. Some, here we go. Here's something we can read. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully, why am I reading like that? That's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want, and we can meet in the parking lot after six. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. Oh, I think I just hit my Christmas lights, but I thought someone was coming in my room. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. <laughs> then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. That's a thing. Katie, please, wherever you found 
Don't tell mom and dad the attic. <laughs> Where's the light? Some more stuff in here. Some books. A record. <laughs> oh, this did not make a nice sound. This looks like a bar, some shot glasses. Shot, 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 everybody. There's a textbook, world history, a folder, uh, the reproductive system worksheet from Sam. Look at this. Some exciting stuff, am I right? Right, ladies? Anything? What's this? Oh, that's a lamp. Thought there was something else. Cabinets? No? No? Okay. In here? Yes. Is this another closet? I swear they have a million closets. Where's it? There we go. That's cute. What's in here? Throw that on the ground. What is it? Okay. What is this? Oh, this is our father's book. It looked different upside down. Some vinyls. More of our father's book. And we're gonna leave now. Are we just about done for this part? <laughs> Should I say something to do in the next part, maybe, instead of looking around? I mean, this definitely isn't going to be a long series, because I've heard this isn't a super long game, so. I think maybe I should wrap up this part here. And if you guys want to give me any little helpful in int? hints about finding the keys or the codes or anything. Wait, did I go in this door? There was a closet in here. It wasn't there. I went in here, huh? Yeah, there was a closet in here. Yeah, for sure. So, wow. Oh, I just noticed the four. I didn't even see that before. Oh, they had a poltergeist book. This must have been the um, little fourth thing that they had set up. Interesting. So, they must have left soon after that. Oh my, has this house been abandoned? That's what I want to know. Anyway, if you guys have any little helpful tim tips, any helpful hints slash tips for that, then let me know. But in the meantime, um, we will continue this game in the next part. So make sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys all later. And yeah, bye.